thisyblitz.com. How important is going to university and choosing the right course for you for your overall career progression in the gaming industry? Um, I think that it just gives you the ability to get ahead in a lot of ways because when you go to employers, you know, you want to be able to say that you can fit right into their teams and do the stuff that they need you to without any kind of doubt in their minds. Uh, and being able to work in a studio environment from nine to five each day is really good for simulating that. You can't necessarily make a good game just on your own. You have to have a team, you have to have people to work with, you have to have group goals, deadlines. So I think the thing that we try to teach most is um, learning about the relative systems that they need to learn about, also about teamwork, that they actually need to work with other people in a big team. If you've got mates who've got similar skills or the skills that you might need, so if you're a programmer like me and you know a game artist like I did, my friend of mine, for a long-term friend, then it's a good idea to get together and just try it out, see how it goes. One other thing that I recommend for a later stage is to make a portfolio, preferably on online one. So if you've got like even projects that are like unfinished, you can literally put it on there and when you go to like go for a job, people will look at that and say, you know, I can see the concept behind it. It's kind of like this transfuser event where it's prototypes, it's not fully polished games, but people can see the, the like what it could potentially be. I feel like I could go to an employer and say, hey guys, I've been doing for three years exactly what you want me to, and I've got the proof to show you. I can just show you my games and show you what I worked on in those games. It should all be about the vocation aspect. The, 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 we make games. We want, people, we want to find and hire people that know how to make games, that are good artists, good programmers. I don't really care whether they got a distinction or a first in their degree. I don't really care what they did on the course. All I care about is how able they are to make a game once they come out of that course. Um, so whenever I'm hiring artists, I don't look at the CV. I look at the portfolio first. If the work is great, I glance at the CV just to, just to get an idea of their journey. But all I care about ultimately is the portfolio.